You can't itch it because it messes up the makeup, so I'm just gonna smack myself. Hey everybody, my name is Anna, AKA Glitter and Lasers. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before, and if you're new, hello. Um, today I am doing a spring dress mega haul. And when I say mega haul, I'm not over exaggerating, guys. I have 15 dresses. Most of them are from completely different designers. There's a couple that I have two dresses from. So it's like 15 dresses, I think 13 brands, and a whole lot of spring, summer magic. And they're all different price points. Some of them are more expensive, some of them are cheaper. So there's literally a dress for everyone in this haul. Okay, before I jump into this, I'm gonna remind you to do the thing, which is like this video, go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already, and turn on the notification bell so you know when all the fun action is coming. And with that, let's get into all of these dresses. Like seriously, so, so many dresses. Um, this is gonna be a long video, guys. Okay, so our first item up is actually not a dress, but jumpers get listed under dresses all the time. So we got jumpsuits in this too. This is a Bedell jumpsuit. And if you are not familiar with the Bedell jumpsuit, let me educate you. It is my one of my favorite things to just wear around the house or over a swimsuit. They have some mesh options, which are amazing. I'm actually planning to get one for this summer because it's, it's lit. This is like a giant jumpsuit. You actually order by your height. And trust me, order by your height. Don't have any fear. It's oversized. You can belt it. You can wear it as it is. It looks really cute if you put a sweatshirt over it. It's just a funky piece that allows you to do something different in your wardrobe. It's super comfortable. It's a local, you know, small made designer. So you're supporting a small business, which is great. And I got this one cause like, look at the color. Look at the color. Ooh. She's gonna be popping. She's gonna be bold. Cause that's what I want. It's got a nice stretch to it. and. I love Bedell, they're a great person, and honestly, I love their stuff. Okay, so this jumpsuit is a vibe. I also like it because it doubles as a flying squirrel costume, should you need it. Uh, but I love that it's just so comfy and baggy. I will say it looks much more chic if you put a belt around it. It just adds definition, and then the volume kind of flows a little differently, but I actually like it like this. I wear it around the house quite often. I've worn it to events like this. It's just a comfortable piece of clothing. Our next dress is from ASOS and it is gauzy and fabulous. I love that it is like clearly like a romantic fabric, like this kind of chiffon -y, flowing gauzy fabric, but then it also has these like sporty details, these like little, what do you call those things? Uh, the thingy that goes up and down the thingy. <laughs> you know what I mean, ripcord? Is it a ripcord? Um, whatever it is, there's one here at the waist and then I think there was one was there one on the side or was that just the string hanging down? No, that's just the string hanging down. So the back is like open. So it's gonna have like a lot of room in the, in the back and then under the bust you accentuate with this rip cord. I just think it's a really interesting, like unique dress and that's why I put it in this haul. It's also got longer sleeves. So for those of you who are totally comfortable with having your arms out this summer, this is a great option to allow you have some breathability but also still have a sleeve and it's neon pink. like. What can I say? When I enter a room, I want you to know. Okay, I love this dress. I love these little rip cords. I just think it's so cool and so different. I also like that it's so voluminous. Like it's okay to wear extra fabric if it's done in a way that like kind of just generally complements your body. And I love, love, I love it can do this, lots of this. <laughs> The next item we have is also a jumpsuit. This is from Torrid. And I wanted to put this in the haul because it's a fabric they have called Super Soft. And I will tell you, anything made with the Super Soft fabric is like something you should definitely look into purchasing. It's very comfortable, it holds up, and it's just so soft. Like it really does live up to that Super Soft name. I like this because it's a little off the shoulder play. It has pockets and it's a fun tie-dye print. I did do a version very similar to this in all black in a Torrid haul, like back in ye olden times, and by ye olden times, I mean like a month ago, but it's very similar to that same jumpsuit. So I would just say keep an eye out for anything super soft in jumpsuits. I think I had a couple skirts in that like type of fabric last year that I wore to death. So I would say I just really wanted to highlight that fabric and that it at, is at Torrid. Um, I wore this a lot in Hawaii, and I would say you can definitely wear like a swimsuit underneath it, and it just looks so cute. So, what is a spring haul without like a totally Easter-rific dress? And I feel like this dress 
is that this is from a brand called Jessica. Jessica is really cool because they just started extending their sizes, I think all the way up to 6X. It might be 5X. I'm not 100% sure. I've had a couple dresses from them before and I will say it also feels like in expanding their sizes, they've improved their fit because I tried a dress from them in the past and it did not work for me because it wasn't cut properly. Um, but this dress actually looks amazing on me. I wore it in a TikTok like a little while ago and you guys were like flipping out over it. So here it is in the haul. They have a lot of different items. I will say they do go quickly because look at this. It's floofy and magical and a little bit more affordable than a selkie dress. So it's kind of giving you that vibe, but in a more affordable way. And also I would say a more conservative way. Um, it's a little bit more covered up. So if you're not super comfortable with having your chest out, this would be a good option in lieu of like a selkie dress. But honestly, it's gorge. It's gorge. Like, how do you not love this? The little rosette details, the ruffles everywhere. Like she is ready for spring. And that is why she is in this haul. I mean, this is such a pretty and almost like modest dress. Like if you're dressing a little bit conservatively, you can still do that and feel like gorgeous and elegant. You don't have to wear like a sleeveless dress to feel sexy and confident and gorgeous. This is a great example of a more modest dress that is still fantastical, full of whimsy, full of spirit. Next is a dress that I have not tried on at all. This is from Ishakti and I had a lot of people asking me to try Ishakti and give a review. So I figured we could do that today since we're doing so many different dresses from so many different brands. The construction looks really nice. I did ask them to add a little length because I'm tall, which I really appreciate. It looks like it's going to be long enough for me. It's fitted at the waist. It does have a tie and it kind of crosses over. I will say the color is a little bit more pink than I thought it would be. And it is giving me a little bit of like Pepto-Bismol nurse vibes, but it might look totally different on. And so I'm gonna give it a chance. I put it in this haul because I wanted you guys to experience my honest first reaction to this brand, since it is a brand that you guys request so often. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this one works out. Okay, so this dress is actually super well-made, very impressed with the quality. I don't love the color. I feel like because of the shape of the dress and the color, it definitely looks like one of those dresses that you would, not even dresses, it looks like a robe that you would wear like if you were in a bridal party and you were like a, a bridesmaid, that this would be like the robe you get ready in. It is comfortable. I think it's just, it's just a color issue. I think if it was in a print or maybe even had like less arms, I think it would look better. But quality wise, a Shakti is great. This dress I just don't think is, personally my favorite. Our next dress is from yet again, another new brand that I have not shown on this channel before. I have worn this dress and I've worn one other piece from them, which I will link down below. I'm in love, I'm in love. Like I absolutely love the fit. I will say size up one, uh, their sizes tend to run a little bit smaller and I think it's cause they're made, I wanna say in Australia, I could be wrong, but I think, yeah, I think it's Australia. And they're fabulous, like look at this. How magical. It's orange, it's bright. They do have a variety of different colors. They tend to run on like a more bohemian style. Um, it is cotton, there is not stretch to this, but it was very lightweight when I was in Hawaii and I was grateful to how well it kind of just handled the humidity and the heat and I didn't feel that gross. If you know what I mean, like some of these dresses, they get sweat marks and they just look rough. This did pretty well. The only thing it did show is when I got splashed with actual water, that showed up, but I didn't have any like, Disconcerting sweat marks. <laughs> we real on this channel. We very real. <laughs> this is just another dress that I'm obsessed with. It's just so cute. And it's my favorite color, which is, honestly, it's an easy way to make me happy. Is The more I wear orange, the happier I am. So this dress I get more questions about than any other dress I've worn recently. And I have been wearing it a lot because it is so comfortable. It's from a brand called New Works, which I've definitely covered before. They make all kinds of fun, crazy prints, and a lot of times in tank dresses. They also have jumpsuits. I have um, a couple pieces from them, and they do it in jersey and cotton. Couple things to note. The bust tends to be a little bit smaller on the New Works dresses than it would be on a regular brand. So if you are larger chested, I would definitely size up. I would also say, again, just like um, the brands we just looked at, like Molly the Label, it does run a little small. So I am ordering, I think in this dress, a five. And it fits me just right in the chest. And for reference, I'm usually a 3X pretty consistently in the top. And since this has like a fuller skirt, I don't typically have to worry about whether the skirt will work. So the fact that I'm wearing a five, I would say if you're wearing a three regularly, 
um, and you're on the smaller end, you might wanna go with a four, and if you're on like a 24, I would go with a five. Just to kind of help you guys figure out the sizing of these brands, because it can, it can be a little confusing and tricky. Another winner, like another winner. I will say that this is probably my favorite dress haul I've done in like a really long time because I genuinely like almost every single dress in here, like perfect as it is. Usually there's like little changes I wanna make, but for the most part, I will be wearing these dresses without alteration, changes or anything, they're great. Next we have one of two dresses that came from Ray. This is a really interesting fabric and I will say, I sized up because I always just get really nervous with body cons and I didn't know if there was gonna be any stretch to the fabric. So I was like, oh, I think it's non-stretch and it's a body con. So I super sized up in this and I really shouldn't have have. I should have ordered just my normal size and I regret not getting the right size in this. Um, this is like a, I think it's called a boucle <laughs> fabric or like remember those t-shirts that would like shrink? That's kind of what this fabric is made out of. Though it does have like the stripes are kind of holding the boucle in place. And then the boucle is like popping through. I don't know how to explain it any other way than that. If you can see it, maybe we'll do like a little close up on the fabric here so you can see what I'm talking about. It has a smocked bust line, which you guys know I love because I don't have to wear a bra. And then tied shoulders. I love the color, I love the fit. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is pockets, which is kind of unusual for this dress because it definitely is like a little bit more fitted to the body, but it's very comfortable because again, that fabric does stretch and it is going to move with you quite a bit. So again, for this one, I would get your normal size, even though the size chart might feel like you need to size up. So this dress, I just wish it was a size smaller, but I still love, I still love the way it looks. I love the color, I love the print. Um, yeah, it's fab. So now we have another new brand, so many new brands in this haul, that I don't think I've ever shown anything from, which is Draper James. This is a cute gingham dress, again, smocked bodice. There's a little bit of a ruffle here, and then having that tie seam at the top. What I like about this is this is not adjustable, which I actually quite appreciate, and it does have a little way to hold your bra strap in right here. So if you want to like attach your bra strap under it and hold it, the dress is built in to do that, which is kind of like very convenient, honestly. Draper James is actually designed by Reese Witherspoon, and the reason I ended up buying this dress is because I heard a story about Reese Witherspoon that made me think that she was an angel, and then I was like, I will support anything you do, Reese. Take my money. And that's how we got this dress. And you know what? It fits really well. I genuinely like it. it does have pockets as well. It's lined, and I love how you have this like dark pink here, and then the ruffle is in this light pink. It's just a little something different, a little extra piece of design that does really make the dress more special, and it's just cute. It's just cute. It's like... It's very Dolly Parton vibes, which you know is um, a large part of my personal aesthetic. I just feel like so Southern in this dress. Like I'm gonna sip Sweet Tree and sit on a porch and talk about the way back when. <laughs> like 50 years ago, I used to walk 10 miles to school. That's what this makes me feel like. And I really like it, it's endearing. So this dress, if you've watched my hiking video, this is the dress I wore when I did the climb. That's as much of that song as we can use without me being sued by Miley Cyrus, so here we are. <laughs> this is from a brand I believe called Curvy Sense, which I feel like I'm giving away one of my deep secrets here, but they just have ridiculously cool ball gowns and formal stuff that literally you probably have no reason to wear, but want to own. And that's generally how I would describe everything I've ever bought from there. Um, other than this, this was actually a pretty wearable piece that you would wear maybe on a vacation or a trip or like um, dinner for a cruise. This would be like the perfect dress for that. But uh, a lot of their stuff is, pretty out there, but I love how out there it's out there. Like I got a jumpsuit with like sequins on mesh, <laughs> you know, very like Britney Spears 2000 VMAs. I think it was 2000, but you know what I'm talking about. This is really cool because it's just a rainbow tool over a pink lining. It's very comfortable, adjustable back, zip up. I wouldn't say this is like the finest quality, but I think it's like a $50 dress if I recall correctly, and it looks fancy AF. Um, yeah, so I have no regrets, no, you know, issues with it. I am hopefully going on a cruise later this year and I probably will bring this dress because it is perfect for like that cruise dinner or like pictures on the starboard bow. I don't even know what the starboard bow is, but I wanna take a picture there because <laughs> you hear it in movies, right? The starboard bow, off into the starboard, I don't know. Just ignore me, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a dress and I like it. There's really like not much more to say other than like I'm obsessed with this dress. 
I also love, just to point out, it's two layers of tulle, and that's what's giving it its like unique tie-dye look, is they're not matching up, so they're creating like extra dimension, which I just really love. I think it's such a cool dress, and it's, it's a bargain, honestly. Next up, we have another smock bodice dress. You're gonna see this a lot because I tend to buy what I like. Like in these hauls, you're seeing what I actually am buying to wear for myself, and I like not having to wear a bra, as I say, for the second or third time. This is another dress. I really liked how the ties work up here. So you have these like little bows like right up here to make it just a little bit different than a normal kind of maxi dress. Loved the green print on this. I just realized that green is a color I absolutely love wearing, so I'm trying to wear more of it. It does come down just to kind of a little ruffle at the bottom, a super affordable dress. This is again from ASOS, so it's our second dress from ASOS. And just really fun pop of color. There's a little bit of give to the fabric, but not a ton. So it's, it's gonna be comfortable and move with you, but I would buy your normal size. And I just thought it was really fun. My only issue with it is it doesn't have pockets. So personally, I'll probably wear this with like a denim jacket over it so that I have access to that pocket. So now I did wear this in a video during Hawaii week. And I'll be honest, I can't remember which one we filmed a lot that week, but you guys really like this dress. And that's why I put it in this haul because Honestly, so many people were asking me, I was like, you know what? We just gonna put it in a haul, make it easier. I feel like I'm just saying the same thing over and over, but they're all so cute. How can I do a summer, spring, whatever season this is, dress haul without bringing a dress from Iloqui, which honestly, as I've said this before, is what I feel is one of the most fashion forward plus size brands out there. This dress is just comfy and cool. It is a jersey fabric. It has a tie right here at like the waist or under the bust. And then it has a tie over the bust. Again, no bra necessary. Um, I probably will wear one for try on just because. No, no, I won't. I will not wear one for try on. No, thank you. Um, it's a very soft jersey fabric. This again would be great for like a cruise, a vacation at the beach, very summer, very glam. And you could just throw it on over a swimsuit or throw it on by itself and feel like super comfy, cool in it. It's a little bit more than just your basic jersey because it has these ties. It gives it some like design, some pizzazz, as my dad would say. It's a very, it gives it a little something extra, a little pizzazz as one might say. It's cute. I love this dress. It is super lightweight. It is super comfortable. I feel very supported. And honestly, it's like a dress that needs to be like worn in Miami, like for cocktails with a sexy man of like unknown ethnicity. Oof. Tall, dark, handsome, and able to buy me drinks. A dream, really. This is our second dress from Ray. I'm obsessed with this print. Again, I sized up and I shouldn't have, but in this dress it kind of works because then it just looks like super oversized, which is very on trend right now. It looks very chic, um, but I could have bought my normal size and been totally and completely happy and comfortable. I did really, really, really shorten the um, straps to make it work because it was so oversized. But again, I kind of like the way it works oversized. So I don't know if you want it bigger, order up. If you want it to fit a little bit closer to the body, I would order your normal size. Um, Ray is an independent brand and I will say the quality of their fabrics is really high. So when you're paying more for a dress, that's typically what you look for is like, is it worth it? And I will say with their fabrics, the answer is yes. You're really getting a higher quality fabric. Um, you're getting someone who custom designed a print, which is also special. Um, and you're just gonna get better, you know, just quality overall. Um, I do feel like this dress is something that I will be wearing a lot this season. So I definitely feel like it was worth the investment. Um, I actually was gifted this dress. I, I almost bought it myself, but then they reached out to me, which was kind of funny because this is my favorite color, orange, and pink is my second favorite color. So this is my, like my jam. This is my jam in a dress. So um, if they hadn't gifted it to me, I actually would have bought this dress. So it was just kind of serendipitous. So this is the dress. As you can see, I have quite a bit of room, but it does work like oversized. I actually kind of like it, I think better oversized. So do with that information as you will. <laughs> so this is from a brand that I think I've hauled once. They're called Cider. And I snagged this because I've been getting a lot of questions about people who want to wear selkie dresses but can't afford them. So I tried to put a couple things in this haul that were a little bit more affordable but still had that kind of like magical fairy tale vibe. And this is definitely super affordable. Um, cider is, is like $30 to $40 a dress. And this has that kind of honestly really nice gauzy overlay fabric for the cost point. 
It does have less support in the chest, so that might be a non-win for some people. But like for 30 bucks, you get the whole aesthetic of like that kind of like dream floaty girl without like the price tag. <laughs> Um, cause the Sogi dress can run you anywhere from 300 to $600 and don't get me wrong. They are an investment, but if you just want something that has that vibe, that's a little bit more affordable, this is just a phenomenal option. Um, only thing that I'm a little stressed out about, or I don't love about this dress. And I just want to point it out for those of you who might struggle to wear this dress because of it, these straps are not adjustable. So you kind of have with whatever they've given you and you just have to like deal with it. Um, so if I could suggest one thing to the team at Cider would be just to make their straps adjustable because not all plus size ladies have the same chest and it can make a huge difference on whether a garment will work for you or not based on whether these are adjustable. But I think for the price point, it's worth trying. They also have a great return policy. So if it doesn't work out, it's really easy to ship things back. Okay, so for a bra that virtually has no traditional boob support, my boobs look great in this, guys. Um, I will say it does run small. So like there is no extra room here and I'm quite filling it out and I am not a large chested woman. So if you are very large chested, this probably isn't going to work for you. But if you are small chested, it might be perfect for you. So I feel pretty great in this, but I do recognize my chest is much smaller than most people's and probably will not work for anyone large chested. So this dress is from Anthropology. I will tell you what, I went to Anthropology like maybe six months ago and I was just like, eh, and I was not feeling anything in anthropology. And then this dress came along and it was like perfect for Hawaii, right? Tropical florally, it's got, you know, over the cross shoulders with a nice little bow that you tie in the back. And I was like, oh, okay, I see you anthropology, you cute again. And I will tell you, I've bought a couple more things from anthropology since then because I'm just seeing that their design for plus is just getting better and better. And so I'm more excited. So I will say if you were like me and kind of were like meh about anthropology in the last little while, I would check them out again because I do really feel like they're starting to offer some really like cool pieces. I just ordered another dress from them that I'm like pumped about wearing. Um, it's not included in this haul because it hasn't come yet, but it'll be in a future haul, I'm sure. <laughs> so many else. Now the last dress I have to go grab because I did not bring it upstairs, but I'm putting it in this haul because so many people have asked me about it. So give me one second. Okay, so it's super wrinkly because I literally pulled it out of the wash from my trip to Hawaii, but I absolutely adore this dress. Also shout out to John, he tied this bow. <laughs> If it looks wonky, it's his fault. I'm kidding, he's very helpful and a great videographer. Please make this video be great, John. Um, anyway, it's a great dress. This is a great dress. There's nothing more to say about it other than it's a phenomenal dress. So I just ran downstairs and grabbed this dress because I wore it in one of my Hawaii videos. You guys flipped out over it. I didn't expect there'd be such a response. But now I kind of get it because I've been wearing this dress nonstop. I actually pulled it out of my laundry basket. It is dirty. I am sorry. But we're still going to look at it. It is this amazing print from this Australian store called Kablooey. I actually found this from a creator called Glitter Buggin. I don't know if you know who, that sh who she is, but she's an Australian creator. And um, I loved it. So then I went to their site, checked it out, took a gamble because I'd never heard of them. And their size chart was a little confusing. And I'm glad I did. I did order up, again, because I was not sure about the size chart. I would say don't do that. Order your normal size, maybe one size up if you're feeling uncomfortable. I went, I believe, one and a half sizes up and I definitely have some room. It still looks fine. I still am wearing it, obviously, but it probably would fit a little bit better a size down. So that is that. They have a lot of dresses. Uh, they have a lot of different fun prints, styles, and they're available in jersey and also a non-stretch cotton. So really a lot to play with. They also will customize the dresses if you want. So I just ordered one that was cut a little shorter and I asked them to make it midi length. No problems, no issues. So I would say for those of you who might need a custom order or some specialty work, they do that as well. Because of that type of work, it is a little bit more of an expensive dress. It's gonna be about 120, 130, depending on what it is, but honestly, worth it. You're gonna get prints that nobody else has here in the USA. Okay, this is my favorite of the entire haul, which is, which is bold to say because there's so many great dresses in this haul, but she's just as special. She's special and I love her. <laughs> there was a lot of dresses. <laughs> And that was a lot of dresses, but uh, I had so much fun sharing kind of all these new brands with you, all these new things I've been finding. I've really been trying to like push myself to discover new places for 
for all of you all to experience and try as well. So with that, links to everything are down below in the description box as per usual. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching, for sticking through this very, very long haul. And let me know, do you prefer long hauls or short hauls? Because we can do either. We have the magic of both. So let me know which you prefer and we'll, we'll listen to you because that's what a good creator should do. So with that, guys, have an amazing rest of your day. I will check you later and peace. Guess what? It's avocados! <laughs>